Hello, hello. Hello, how are you doing? It's Friday, it's Friday. Thank goodness for Friday. <laughs> Hi, Gabby. Hi, Sue. Hi, Linda. Hope you all are having a good Friday so far. Uh-oh, I see a Facebook user that says hello. Oh, it's Fiona. Hi, Fiona. I have my phone on as well, so that way I can see the, um, you know, the Facebook users because, oh, StreamYard is so fun. <laughs> so I'm, I'm guessing that you can see me. Can you hear me okay? Hi, Nicole. Um, anyhow, so tomorrow I get to see you, Fiona. If you guys don't know, Fiona and I will be on Decoupage Queen tomorrow. So I'll be hosting Fiona and watching her do some crafting. So great. Thanks, Sue. Okay, so you guys can see that I've got some pumpkins, blocks, and, um, you know, the Noel here. And... Um, I don't know about you guys, but I ordered a big box of pumpkins for um, from Amazon for, you know, Halloween, and I have a ton of them. So you guys know I always complain about my bobble problem. Now I have a bobble and a pumpkin problem. <laughs> so I thought, why don't I try to use some of these pumpkins somehow? So I thought it would be kind of cute to turn my pumpkins into a snowman. I mean, you know, why not? <laughs> why did I order them? Well, I was supposed to do a pumpkin live, I think, and then I don't know what happened. <laughs> Anyhow, the same thing that you were supposed to do. Yes, it was, Nicole. That's exactly what it was. <laughs> oh my goodness. So anyhow, I thought that we would turn the pumpkins into a snowman. And then I got these blocks from the dollar store. They were just wooden blocks. I saved you guys from making me, watching me prime everything and primed it all already. So these were just wooden blocks. So I thought we could decoupage these and then, um, you know, put Noel uh, across the front. And then... I wanted to do, so this is just, I think it's a 6 by 12 canvas, and I thought it would be cute to put the feet at the bottom. Wow, I sanded it down after I uh, primed it. To put the feet here at the bottom, and then kind of have it, you know, like a little scenery so that it can stand like either, you know, on the table or on like the side tables or something like the couch or something, so... One of my pumpkins rolled away. Ooh, let me grab it. So, yeah, I thought, why not? So, I am going to ask you guys, because Sylvia and Fiona are coming up as Facebook users. I do have my phone on, but... Um, uh, if you could authorize them, that would be great. Hi, Marcia. Okay, so anyhow, so I, I'm going to end up covering this and all that good stuff. So, got some decoupage. I've got so much stuff on my side table that it's kind of ridiculous. I'm like, what the heck am I doing? I don't even know that I'm going to use all of this stuff. So, we've got some... I don't know if you guys seen this is the decoupage words. And if you're thinking, like, why the heck, what am I going to do with this? I thought it would be kind of cool to you know, put some of the words like on the, um, either the blocks or the wood. And then we can cover the blocks with some of the ITD bears or I have Kalimbor. So I don't know, we'll figure it out, but I'm just telling you guys, I have a ton of stuff on my table and it, it's funny. Um, so I'm just going to pull these out and then we will put these on like this. And then we'll give it a face and make it a hat and all that good stuff. So 
I bought these cute hat ornaments at Hobby Lobby. But then I thought, well, what if everybody doesn't have these little hat ornaments and they want to make it? So I thought I would show you guys how to make like one of those little beanies out of like the toilet paper roll. You guys probably already know how to do this. If you watch TikTok, I think it's all over TikTok. But or even probably Pinterest, too. So if you just get a toilet paper roll. And then I usually cut my yarn like, I don't know, they were 10 inches. Um, go in half. And then all you do is just, you know, just like when we used to make bracelets. And then go along and then do that all the way down, all the way along the side. And are you thinking, oh, my God, Terry, are you really going to do that the whole entire time and make us watch you do yarn? No, I'm not. <laughs> so anyhow, so you would just do this, you know, all the way around. OK, and then you come out with ta-da, right? So then they were all be hanging down this way. You flip it all inside. Like this. Yes, I can see you. Thank you, Fiona. So then you bring it all the way through this way. And then you could take one of your little guys here and just tie that off it's so strange when it i'm um, when you're by yourself and you're talking and nobody talks back to you it's so strange <laughs> what were you worried about sue me doing that the whole time me stringing these? No, I wouldn't make you watch. <laughs> make you watch it. Okay, and then you cut these little guys, or you could do a little bow, whatever. I just cut it because they'll be in the back. And then take like a little cotton and then put that up, and then you got a beanie. Isn't that cute? Then he has a beanie and you could, you know, obviously adjust that. And then what you would do with this is just cut it so that, you know, it's not like all uneven and wacky. And you give him a cute little beanie. I just thought it was cute. So anyhow, so then... He has a little beanie, and then he, he will have his little hat. Hee <laughs> hee. I entertained myself, I know. All right, so these guys, I thought what we could do with them is... <laughs> Sue, it's so funny. So this is just the deluxe paste. Why did I throw that over there? I don't know. The deluxe paste from Pintar. And if you've used the deluxe paste, it actually has like a little bit of a texture to it. Um, when it dries, it has like almost you could feel um, maybe the glitter, if, it, if you will. Um, but it isn't actually like it doesn't fall. You don't have any fallout or anything like that. So what I will do is paint these. I've already primed them, but I'm going to just paint them white because then I thought that I can also sprinkle them with glitter. You know, they've got to be proper snowmen. So we'll do that. But I actually, I like the deluxe paste. I like that little bit of um, texture that it gives. They've got a few that look the same. The bottles look the same. Um, 
it's like deluxe and then i don't know what the other can't think of what the other one's called but it looks just be careful if you want this one it's the paste so how are you all are you guys ready for thanksgiving can you believe thanksgiving's already going to be thursday and do you have your christmas ornaments up yet your christmas decorations do you decorate before or after Thanksgiving? Then I'm just going to take it while it's wet and sprinkle glitter all over it. Because, um, thanks, Sue. Yeah, because I have a ton of these. <laughs> I have a ton of these pumpkins. Oh, my word. Because, you know, Amazon, everything has to be, you know, bulk, it seems. You can't just get, you know, two or three pumpkins. You've got to get a million. And see how cool that's going to be? And like I said, we were supposed to do a live with pumpkins, and then that didn't happen. So <laughs> I used a couple of them, but, yeah, not nearly enough. <laughs> Decorations up at the beginning of December. Okay. I only put up a tree and I try to put it up as late as possible. Do you see? I don't do a tree anymore. So it's just me and the boys. And we haven't done a tree for a while. And um, what we do though is we have like a table that, you know, like a, I don't know. The TV is on the wall, and underneath it is like a half moon table. Okay, so we do, um, we put up like a Mickey Mouse village, you know, it has the whole, the lights and everything. And then the presents go around the table. So this year, though, I will tell you if you guys haven't seen it, Mix Palette put out a bunch of, cute houses so i presented to my boyfriend and my sons that i said okay i think it will be really cool if we all take a house and decorate it and then we can kind of update our village you know our little village because i've been wanting to do something else to it because it's just been the mickey mouse village for a couple years now well unbeknownst to me it has it is now going to be a family challenge <laughs> so my boyfriend thinks that he is going to decorate his house better than i am and he has like he's not even he's not playing around he is ordering things from etsy and amazon and yeah it's going to be a blast so we'll, we're we're going to see though cuz it it is yeah it's getting kind of crazy in here. I'm hiding my supplies and he's like what do you got there? None of your business. <laughs> Hi Rachel. But my and then I got sidetracked but I started that because my son was like, oh, mom, do you want me to bring in the Christmas stuff now? We can decorate now. And this was like last week. <laughs> no, <laughs> like, no, I'm not ready for that yet. No, <laughs> please. No. <laughs> okay. So see how cute they are. <laughs> okay. So I'll put these off over here while they dry a little bit and then we'll start working on the Oh, wow. Look at that. We'll start working on the little blocks there. So, yeah, I don't... I usually wait until after Thanksgiving and then get out all of the, the Christmas stuff. So, wow. I'm going to have glitter everywhere for a while, aren't I? Okay, so we don't need the little doo boppers there. 
So I was thinking whoop, with this, I don't know, some of you seen that I did a, um, a Happy Mail unboxing and I've got a bunch of really neat papers from AB Studio. So I was thinking that I would do maybe this one. What do you guys think? See, if I go, I think I want to go this way because it's not going to fit anyways. So I'll go this way and then blend them together. So what I will do is take my water pen and then get my ruler. And I'll take off this edge really quickly. I don't want to cut it. I don't want harsh. Um, I don't want a harsh edge there since I want to blend it. So I'm literally just going to wet it and then pull it apart. Okay, so we talked about Christmas decorations. What about Christmas presents? Has anybody started doing their Christmas shopping? My oldest son, Troy, which you guys have probably seen, <laughs> he makes the appearances all the time. His birthday was on Veterans Day, so November 11th. And then my youngest is on December 1st. So, oh, holy Moses. So I, I, this time of the year is always crazy for me as far as doing Christmas shopping, birthday shopping. I think I'll carry them over the edge if I do that. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't. I didn't take after my mom in that uh, regard for sure. My mom would have Christmas shopping done like by August. I have, I've got six grandchildren, so they have to start early. Oh my goodness. Yeah. See, when you have little ones, see, my youngest is going to be 21. Um, and Troy's 22. But, you know, Troy is, oh, oh I know, almost forgot. I need to go over the side, too. Troy is all about the presents, right? So, um, Sorry that my mailman slammed down the mailbox cover. Um, anyhow, so yeah. Hi, Lou. So yeah, I have to I have to get on that because I am procrastinating quite a bit. And then I don't know if anybody does um Black Friday shopping. I don't know if anybody does that. I do not. I don't have the patience. <laughs> I'm just using the decoupage um, varnish and glue, the silky shine. Um, okay, so I need to make sure I go over. And then... I will use my felt. Hi, Angela. I have been adding a little. Oh, okay. That's cute. All my Christmas shopping is done. Fiona. Oh, oh my goodness gracious. Okay. And I'm just going to cut right down here so I can fold over. Yeah, nope, not me, not even close. Like I said, I definitely did not take over, uh, take after my mom on that one. She would always have, she would, <laughs> we would laugh because you know how they do all the sales right after Christmas, you know, they put all the sales up. She would actually start right then. And I'm like, God, Mom, we didn't even finish. 
Um, where's my little my guy? This guy. So So in the UK, we so we always have the Black Friday. Do you guys have anything similar to like sales like that after Thanksgiving, like to kick off the crazy shopping? Which, by the way, I've only ever done, sorry, I've only ever done Black Friday once. And, yeah, no, that was one time too many. The pushing and the shoving and the craziness that goes on, yeah, no. And then anymore, the, the deals, they do... I don't know. They weren't that. They weren't mind blowing enough for me to deal with all of that craziness. But I could be, you know, unless you're getting like electronics and stuff like that. But yeah, no, I've only ever done it once, and that was one time too many. Black Friday only started here a couple years ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, we have Black Friday and then Cyber Monday. So Cyber Monday I will do. Black Friday, no. When you're at, I'm actually going out near the shops, no. Okay, so I'm actually going to do that same thing. I'm going to take my water pin and pull off that edge again. So, and then they're going to actually, because the last few years, and I know it didn't happen so much when COVID, but right before COVID hit, they started doing like sales on the Tuesday and Wednesday before and then even on like thanksgiving itself that night my goodness gracious but yeah i don't mind going out and doing you know sh doing cyber monday of course i'll shop online any day <laughs> okay get that off put this away I'm going to do this upside down, and I'll blend this over, and then try to match that up the best I can. There we go. Okay. That'll work. So I'm excited to go and be a host with uh, for Fiona tomorrow. It'll be fun. I always I I like doing the hosting because I always like seeing, watching um, the creators. That's fun for me. <laughs> I'm gonna wipe underneath because I don't need everything to get. Uh, my my space is closing in on me. You guys know how that is. When you have a lot of desk space and then the next thing you know, you're working in like a little two by two area. And you're not sure how that happened. This reminds me of having to worry though. No wrapping all the presents and sit there and your my back is aching because I'm <laughs> sitting in one spot just wrapping away. Did I do that? Yeah, I did. Okay. That paper is pretty. 
Ay, ay, ay. Of course, the mailman would come later today because I'm doing a live and, you know, that'll get my dog barking. It's another thing, too. Shipping things is going to be crazy at this time of the year, too. This is when all the packages... I have to pay attention because my packages go to the neighbors all the time. And vice versa. Drives me nuts. Amazon is the worst. They, they are always delivering my packages. To in, my the, my house number ends with a seven. So any of us that have a seven here, which is you know every other house for a couple of houses here, it we all get each other's packages. It's absurd. Put that edge down, and then I'll do a layer over all of it. Those of you that do Christmas trees, do you do a real tree? Do you go get your own tree? Or is it, you know, the artificial get out of the box tree? That's what ours was. That already had the lights and everything, so we didn't have to worry about it. <laughs> I would do a basic wrap and also one very special decorated. Ah. Oh, thanks, Sue. I like hosting. My watch, this watch, <laughs> it's my my Samsung watch. Um, put a link in here too. Is that for me to put a link in here? What are we, or is that, did I miss something? Are you asking somebody else to put a link or me, Lou? Sorry. I like hosting. I really enjoy it because, like I said, I don't have to be on a time limit for once. <laughs> I get to watch somebody else create. That turned out really pretty. I really like that paper. Um, and then, so I'll put this to the side to dry. And then it's always neat to, to see, because some of the, you know, some of the, people that I get to host I have never met before and some of their styles are so different which is so cool to see how you know how they do things and 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 whatnot so okay so I know I'm gonna put Noel hold on that goes that way on one of the sides right like that so Let's see here. What do we want to put on? We could do the bears. The bears are cute. Now he's going to, we're going to have the, the snowman. And what else do I have? I don't know. This has, I didn't use all of this paper. This is big. It's the A3, but I thought it would be cute to like take some of the flowers and stuff from there. Oh, this, I kind of used a couple of him. And then, oh, I know what else I have, which might look cute to do a couple. Like, change it so, like, all one side is one theme, and then you can change it around to different themes. Always change it up. <laughs> I don't know. And... Let's see what else do we have here. This really pretty AB Studio paper. We could probably do a couple with the Harlequin. Oh, but look at them. 
Oh, you guys, I need help. Oh. This is what happens when you want to do everything. You can't. You need to make a decision, Terry. What are you doing? I don't know. That's the problem. <laughs> oh, I like these guys, too. All right. We can't do with the mice and the people, though. That would be weird. What in it? I don't know. Used to have a real tree when the kids were... Oh, the link for tomorrow. Okay, yeah, we we will, definitely. Oh, okay, yeah, Linda, we were talking about that before because my son has special needs too. My thing with Troy is that as soon as he sees the presents, he is already chomping at the bit, like, when do I get to open these things? Like, why are they sitting here and I don't get to open them? That's silly. <laughs> So let's do one with the bears, and then we can turn them. Cannot decide too many choices. Oh, thanks, Sue. <laughs> I need help. Thanks. Thanks for your help. Um, wait, I'm missing some bears out of that one. Probably because they were cute and I took them out. See, then my only problem with if it's, oh, forget it. If it's white, it's going to be against that background, but that's okay. We can always, I can always put some glitter and stuff after. Okay. And I probably won't get a chance to do all the sides because that would be craziness making you guys watch that. I like him. He's cute. Yeah, I love the bears too. Sue, you, I should have asked you to buy me a lottery ticket with as lucky as you have been with winning lately. I am so, I'm like, yay, it's Sue again, and but I need her to buy me some scratchers or something. You've got such good luck. <laughs> That's for all the years of watching, right, Sue, and not winning anything? So should we do two that are, I don't know, I kind of like. Yeah, we'll do, it. we'll do it like that for right now. But they're kind of the same. Oh, Terry, stop. Okay, let's start with these. Wow, that was fast, Fiona. I know, Fiona, I will actually prop message you too when we get off of here so that way we can coordinate with meeting backstage tomorrow. That's going to be fun. Put you on there. Try to get you in the middle the best I can. Uh, sure. Are you talking about me? Because this is going to be a big old doozy. I don't know what I was thinking. Because I was, I have like all of this, I have, I have hand tools out, Lou, because I'm going to make holes to put up candy canes and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> this little scenery. I woke up this morning, I'm like, why do I do that? Why do I, why can't I just do something really quick and easy that, they could see it all finished at one time. I don't know why I do that. But I could finish with you guys if you want me to come back and finish it. Let's get as much color on there as we can since they're white background. I 
I should have used the um, the new pent dart glue, huh? The decoupage glue. I could still do that. Okay. Got those on there. What I'll probably do too is put crackle on these guys and age them up because, you know, we can't just. And I'm, I know that some of the edges, the paint's going to come off. I'm not worried about that because I'll probably go around the edges with um, a wax or something. So... Aw, that's cute. Oh, they, right, Fiona? They're awesome. I love my felt scrapers. They, um, they just do the trick. They get the rice paper down. You know, the rice paper doesn't stick to your hands. You don't pick up any of the print because your hands have glue or anything else on them. And you can work out any of the air bubbles that, you, you know, might be underneath or glue that might need to be spread a little better. These scrapers are perfect for that. So, yeah, I love them. Whoops. Let's do... Good afternoon... From Montreal. Lamia, hi. You're coming up as Facebook user as well. Sorry, I had to look on my phone. How are you? Um, I actually bought my these from Amazon. Um, I can put the link out there again and then I know, you know, the link is obviously different from the UK, but you can kind of see what they're called and then find the comparable in the UK. I think that's what I did the last time because somebody wanted them last time um, as well. But I can put the link um, in the description again so you can see. And I think um, these that I get come in like a pack of six or something like that. So, because, you know, you will eventually get, you know, glue or whatnot on them, but um, you can just, ah, I'm liking those. So cute. Okay. So now let's get a couple of more, a couple of more. That was perfect English, Terry. Okay. Okay, and did we use you, you cute little guy? No, we didn't. Nope, we didn't. Okay. Nope, let's do. So we'll do this side. Then Noel will go here. So let's turn you guys like this and do them that way. Okay, but they probably want to see what you're doing. There go. Just like right there, I got a real carried away with that glue. And let's put you guys over a little bit more. So I can actually push the glue out that way. And then if I wanted to, I can get it up on the edges there. But I love my scrapers. Love them. My scrapers and my water pin. Oh, of course. And this guy. Because he's the best too. Because you can just change those. Mm, I'm going to miss the Christmas tree if I get over too much. And I will go back, if you're wondering, I will go back and seal it. I'll just seal them all at the same time. Okay. And, ah, oh, awesome. Okay. 
Thank you, Marcia. So Marcia put the link in for UK. Um, Amazon UK, I think. But if anybody needs it for the US, just let me know. And I'll put it in. And, oh, but that background is going to look kind of, let's change you for right now and put this one in there. Just because they're all that color on that one side. And then you can go with him. Is that, what does that got to do with Christmas? Eh, whatever. He's still cute. All right. And then we'll do this one more time. They are cute, right, Linda? I love the little bears. They're perfect size for these little blocks, too. Oh, I got to be careful on that side, don't I? Let me just glue that back down now. Okay, and that guy. And then I will get my snowman and start putting him together. Could get something, I would think. What are you, are you guys talking about the finding the scrapers still? So it's finally gotten cooler here in California. Finally able to put on a sweater in the mornings. I'm so excited. I mean, we still are warm, sun's still out and shiny, but you know. At least it's not up there. It's in 115 degrees, so. Anything a little cooler is better than what I, we were at. I actually thought for a while there we were going to skip the whole season. I truly didn't think we were going to have any type of winter because it stayed so hot for so long. so cute. Mm. 
Okay. I'm trying to think if I should, because I know I don't need to do the bottom. Um, if I put the Noel, I'm trying to think of how I could, because you guys are probably going to go crazy if I have to do all of these sides. Okay, let's put that on hold for a minute and think about what we are doing with this first. Because I want to crackle the one side where I'm going to put the Noel. Yeah, so I didn't even need to do that one side. I'm a dingbat. Should have did the top. Okay, we're going to do it like that. There we go. So this is the side that I need to paint and then crackle. Okay. So then with this, all I'm going to do is take a, the same, oh, I got to stand up. I think I want to use this deluxe paste again unless I do the green deluxe paste and bring out because of the green for the paper and then this is see that's pretty okay I'm going to end up having to do two coats of those because two coats of that. Because I'd rather pounce it to get the texture. So let's let one of those dry and then we'll. You guys got so quiet. <laughs> oh no, what happened? There we go. And let's try that a little bit and then we'll put in another. See if we can. Because if I can get it to look like it has a little bit of texture, then I won't crackle this side. Interesting. Just mesmerized. <laughs> mesmerized or bored, Fiona? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I haven't used this one before. Let me do this and see. Maybe the mic is set to the bottom because this one was new. Because, see, it's really pretty, but seems like it's 
very light. Like it's almost gonna take another another go. We'll see. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Is that still not opaque? You're why? What are you working on, Marcia? You're washing your paintbrush. This paint color is it's the deluxe paste and it's emerald. It is a really beautiful green. Yeah, it is, right? It's very translucent. I mean, what if I pounce it on there, it's very it's nice. But um I was I'm surprised by how how translucent that was. Been painting an MDF reindeer and sleigh. Ooh, I can't wait to see that. Yeah, I'm I'm surprised by that too. I I don't know. I mixed it up, which I didn't do. Um, so maybe because it was new, maybe the you know the mica and everything was had settled, which happens but because it dries very quickly like that's dry so but I was thinking the way it is right now is the way it was going to come out but that was what three three layers in so But, wow, that's way too much. But I do like it. I do like the color. Once you get it, you know, the opacity, once it's there, it's a beautiful green, beautiful emerald color. Just, just took a minute. All right. Put that in the water. I'm doing a sleigh too as a gift for a friend for Christmas, but I keep faffing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hoping to put it in the window display. Our bedroom window is right beside the pavement. And oh, that's going to be so fun for the kids to walk by and see. That's really neat. All right. And then this, the Noel, which I am going to do. I don't want to use that deluxe paste again because I am not convinced that it's going to be opaque enough. So these are similar, and it, this is the deluxe metal. So let's see what this is like. Although I do love this one, this champagne is, I have used that before. That's very pretty. These, if you guys seen, I just got um, with my Happy Mail the other day unboxing. So I haven't really gotten a chance to try these. Ooh, that's pretty. We're going to mix that up though right off the bat because we don't want to do that again. And see what this is, what this gives us. Now, the only thing about painting, nope. Mm -mm. Hmm. Okay, I'm not trying to be here for days doing this with these colors, so... <sighs> I know it's because it's the metallic, so I, I know I'm, that's not why I'm surprised. I'm just surprised that it's so sheer. So let's see 
if we can. Jeez, if we can open the jar first off. Let's see if we can get something that's going to give us some. There we go. Okay. And then this is just the acrylic metallic and this is antique copper. And I do like this one. But this, I like I said, I know that metallics can be sheer sometimes. I was just thinking that the payoff would be a little more like this. Um, or hoping so. So I just know that I will need to use a couple of, um, you know, layers on those. If I use those, so. Which I don't mind. It's just when you're in a hurry and you're, you know, on a live. <laughs> you kind of like things to, to work. Okay. Fiona, are you ready for tomorrow? Yeah, this one is great coverage. So it's, what time is it? It's noon my time. So what is that, 8 o'clock in the evening for you? And I was thinking, oh, my goodness, I need to make sure I don't put the letters on wrong. And I need to make sure I spell things. Every time I do something with letters, right, you always have that fear that you're going to spell things incorrectly. Then I was like, no, it's just blocks. I can move them around and just say I meant to misspell it at first. <laughs> I meant for the blocks to be out of order. <laughs> okay. Do you see any white? Yep. There we go. Yes, 8 p.m. in the evening. Yep. Ready as I'll ever be. You're going to be great. Like I said, I'm excited. I can't wait to see. I can't wait to see. All right. Okay. Now, while these are doing their thing, drawing, and like I said, I'll finish decoupaging those other side so that way I'm not torturing you all. Let's put the snowman together. Okay, what time is it? 11.59. All right. So I'm already been here taking up your guys' time for an hour. Sorry. I'll put this sky together and then I'll wrap it up. Okay, so let's do him like that. Should I... No, I'm not going to. I'm going to get my heat gun, or my heat gun, my hot air, and I'm going to go like this. I'm going to put a little bit of the tight bond in the middle, and then for the purposes of a quick stick, I'll use my Gorilla Glue. I'm telling you, I'm going to have glitter on my face again for days. Put a little bit more. And then you. <laughs> so cute. Okay. And then, I'm 
I'm going to put his little hat on him. I'm actually going to take off the little ornament hanger because we don't need... I mean, I guess it could hang him because it's light, but... <laughs> He's going to be so cute. Oh, my goodness. And I get to use three pumpkins. <laughs> and I'll stick his hat on him. Actually, this should probably be. Ah! I'm trying to show you guys it's not dry yet. Let it dry. Impatient. Okay. And then let me. Um, put some eyeballs on him. I did cheat and I bought a nose for him. <laughs> oh, my, oh my gosh. What am I going to do for a pumpkin nose? A pumpkin nose. A carrot nose. See? So that'll be cute. I'll stick that on him. And I have some little flat back rhinestones here that we'll use for his eyes. Okay. So let's see. Did we just want to? Yeah. Okay. Let's get some tacky glue. Thanks, Marcia. That was a really big eyeball dot, Terry. Gee, many. Guess we don't want his eyeball to come off ever. <laughs> Put a little eyeball there. And a little eyeball there. He's coming to life, guys. He's coming to life. And his little nose. Oh. Get him a little nose. Okay, and then should we give him a little mouth too? Yes, right? I mean, come on. We need to give him a little little bit of a smile, don't we? It's gonna be a happy snowman. There. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you. He is quite cute, isn't he? Oh my goodness. Okay. So then I will quickly, I'm going to move him over just to the side here and keep him flat. I'm going to actually give him arms too. Um, again, I don't. You know, I don't want to keep you guys here forever, but I will, I'll show you the pictures, but I have, you know, these little 
like the plant whatever branches so i'm gonna give him arms and then i'm gonna make him his um like a little maybe a broomstick or something with you know do like a little put that in this have a little broom and then have him holding it so i'm gonna do that but i'm gonna move him over so that way he um his his mouth doesn't droop and then let's put the feet on this really quickly. And I'm just gonna use hot glue on this. Make sure that's all the way in the corner. And this is just a wooden canvas, just so it, you know, has something to sit them on and can even put, I have some snow out here too. I was going to put snow on the, on here. Like once I get everybody in their place, everything in their place, where did you get the feet from? Amazon, I'm sure. Yeah. You guys can see. They're just little like jewelry box feet, I think is what they're called. So I'm sure I got them from Amazon. Um, but you see they have, so you could screw it in or you can, you know, tack them down with the glue. Okay, one more. I don't know why I keep trying to put it on without gluing it. Like, hello. And then your last little foot. I'm trying to get the glue off. Okay. Okay. So then see, it'll just sit. Gives it a little... Then it's not so just, you know, flat piece of wood on the ground, you know, it has a little something there. Okay, and then with our Noel, I'll put these on here real fast. Uh, glue and glitter. <laughs> okay. I'm not. I'm just going to put some. I'm not worried about the. It'll dry. Um, trans transparent but i'm gonna get a little off and i just use my little silicone brush just go around the edges like i said it's gonna dry but just to get some off okay and then we'll do the o you only wanted three. I still have 57. <laughs> You're very welcome. Yes, you can make snowmen for for everyone. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, right? I mean, you get good deals on Amazon. Oop. And then if you have Amazon Prime, you know, you can get it the next day and that's just wonderful and good but when there are some things that you don't necessarily need 57 of right but you you end up with it and this glue is not my friend today what do i get for using stuff that i don't normally use i'm gonna Use a little bit of 
hot glue just to get it tacked down. But yeah, you know, that's the same thing with my baubles and the same thing with the pumpkins. It's like, you know, you, you don't need so many, but then it just, you know, price wise, it doesn't make sense to buy, you know, one or two of them. So, and then that's how we run out of room. <laughs> and we have everything falling out of our craft closets because we have a ton of stuff, ton of extras. Okay. <laughs> so you can't see it, but uh, you know, so that obviously the Noel. And then what I was going to do is, like I said, I have my drill and my, I can have all kinds of stuff out here because. I have him that I'm going to put down here. How do I get? This is not the way. So it'll be like that. So you'll see the Noel. You can't see the L, but you guys kind of see what I'm doing. And then he'll be here. And then I also have presents to put out, you know, around that I wanted to put out. And then I wanted to, the reason why I have the drill is because I thought it would be really cute to stick like these lollipops, you know, stick them in random places. Like, look at, I have this and this. And then I thought even these two to like stick them out, you know, to so to do the drill with my Dremel. And to cut little holes and stick these out. <laughs> I thought it would be cool. Anyhow, um, sure, Lou, I will stop right now the way it is so I won't finish anything. <laughs> and then I will message you afterwards um, after we finish here and then ha schedule something with you within the next couple of days. So that way I can, um, oh, good thing I varnished that so I can get that off. So I can finish the rest of this because yeah, it's looking really cute, right? So we need to do the rest of the guys, give him some arms with his little broomstick and then put some other little decorations on. So I'll do that, but Sorry, again, for being a little ambitious and, uh, you know, trying to do way too much in one hour. But hopefully you did get a couple of ideas to what you could do with some pumpkins. <laughs> Anyhow, I'll schedule with Lou um, a date or Rachel a date to see um, when I can come back and we'll finish this up together. And um, I look forward to it. So thank you for, you know, listening to me ramble and keeping me company. And I will see you guys in maybe a couple days. Thanks, everyone. Talk to you later. Have a great weekend. Oh, and a happy Thanksgiving if I'm not back by then. And Fiona, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.